Hello and welcome to Space Shark Teaches. I'm Sean from Space Shark Studios and I'm here to teach you visual scripting in Godot 3.1. Let's get started. So let's go over the editor. I know I talked a little bit about this in the last lesson, but I want to go a little bit more in depth this time. So to start with, we have a bunch of different separate windows that we're dealing with in Godot. Over on the left, you can see the scene and import windows. You can toggle between those using tabs. Um, the scene window is where all of the objects in your scene will be displayed. Right now there's nothing, but if we went and added, um, say, a sprite, and then we can add maybe just an, another node 2D. We have, you can see in here, some different things that live within your current scene. Select both of those and delete them. So that's how we get objects in the scene, is over in this scene panel. Then we have the file system down here, and this is where things live long time. So things like icons, your actual scenes file, stuff like that will live over here in the bottom left. So when you start using sprites, you're gonna be pulling them up from in here, or at least referencing from them from in here. You're gonna be saving your scripts over in here, all of that nice stuff. We have the inspector over on the right. This is where you're going to be um, pulling attributes out of that you wanna change. So for example, your main scene, let's make another node 2D. So you can see that it has a transform, which is its uh, position, rotation, and scale. Um, Z index, which means how close to or far, I can't really do three dimensions right now, but how close or far the object is away from the scene. So things with, I believe a higher Z index will appear on top of things with lower, um, other stuff like that. We'll be going over nodes and their different properties as we go through. Uh, we also have the node section, which is signals and groups. Once again, that's going to be a much later subject, but just know that it is over in the inspector area. Then of course, we have the actual scene view. So I'm clicking the middle mouse button right now to move it around. Um, this is where you have things like your select button where you can hover over or do a drag. You have your move where you can go ahead and move things around, around the scene. Undo. You have your rotate, which lets you go ahead and rotate objects. Once again, undo and then scale where you can make them bigger or smaller, which you can't really see because we don't have anything, you know, really sizable. So if you look over here, I did scale it. Want to undo that. Um, you also have things like the pan button. That's how you can move around. It's equivalent to hitting the middle mouse button. Um, let's go back. And then we have some fun stuff like snapping. So I'm gonna be using snapping a lot because it works really well in 2D scenes. Um, you can snap to grid, you can use rotation snapping, which will go ahead and snap it to like every 15 degree increments, um, all sorts of fun stuff like that. You can configure it. So yep, see, so 15 degree increments. There is lock, so you can't move it. There is grouping, so that you can't select and move around children. So for instance, if I make another one under this and I select move, then it will move it separate from its parent. And that can be okay, depending on what you're wanting to do. Um, so you'll see that a lot of time we're going to be pressing this button on the parent. 
That way we can't go down here and select and move this around. Oops, the other way around. Put that on there. So that when we move this, well, that doesn't seem to be working. So that's a fun one. Um, I'm guessing that's more for when you're clicking on it. But either way, we want to go ahead and set up the grid. And there we have the main view. So let's go ahead and once again, I'm gonna right click this time and delete the nodes. You can also press the delete key. Control S to save the scene. And then we're going to check out a couple of different views. So first off, you can have different scenes open. So you can have multiple scenes open, like tabs in a browser. We're going to be using that when we start getting into nested scenes. You can see a 3D view if you want to make a 3D game. And then we have scripts. So as we make more scripts for our game, they're going to appear over here. The same as if we decide to use the search for the help. So node 2D, it appears over here as well with nice little hot links. And you can close that. So we'll be using this area a lot, a lot more than say this, um, at least in the beginning. Once we get to the point where we can start designing the game, so putting things in different places, then we'll come back to this. But for the most part, all of our scripting will be done in this scripts menu, where we'll be dragging things from different areas and doing references and all, all sorts of fun stuff like that. And that's basically it. You now have a scene that is set up and ready to be used. And you've learned all the different parts of the editor that we are going to be using in this series. Thank you for watching Space Shark Teaches. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel and remember to click the bell to always stay up to date. Please also join us on our Discord, linked in the comments, and check out our other videos if you ever want to see what else we've been up to. Thanks again for watching, and we can't wait to see what you make.